No more delays, y'all, okay? That, I mean, that's what it comes down to. Brookline, a town known well for its tolerance and progressive values, and on this first nationally recognized Juneteenth, a rally and freedom march commemorating the emancipation of Texas on this day in 1865, and a way to make sure this walking continues beyond just talking about change in this community and this country. Two years and six months delay still continues today. And this is the reason why I want, I want to, like so in Brookline, for example, and I love my town, I've been here 41 years, you know, and, and the thing is, we don't have a lot of minority-owned businesses. Brookline, as a community, uh, needs to come together and realize that racial equity and racial justice and stuff like that, um, it's really easy to talk about it, but it's, we're, we're trying to get the community to take a step forward in the right direction. Fitting that the start is at the newly renamed Florida Ruff and Ridley School, formerly Edward Devotion School. She was one of the first black teachers in the state and an advocate for voting rights for all. Progress means taking action. This is a day to come together and understand how late is far better than never. Use it as a way of addressing and, and uh, sort of discussing and hopefully dealing with uh, continuing problems uh, that we have in this country related to race. Next stop is Brookline Village Park for what organizers hope is the start of an annual tradition. In Brookline, Josh Brogadier, WCVB, News Center 5.